Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says locate the centroid C bar of the homogeneous solid formed by revolving the shaded area around the C axis. This problem is actually pretty simple to set up. It's just a long integral you got to do it in the end, but it's just simple math or simple calculus. Basically, we know that the formula is C bar is equal to the integral of the area of C curly dA over the integral of the area dA. So all we need to find is all the components of this equation to be able to plug them in and just solve them. So the first thing that we're going to find is dA. What is dA? I'm going to make dA a disk right here. This disk, dA being the volume of the disk, and this disk has a thickness of dC and a radius of y. So let me redraw that disk, looking at it from the side. It has a thickness of DC and looking at it from the front it has a radius of Y. We know that the volume of uh, DA or the volume of this disk is equal to the area of the circle which is pi r square times DC and we know the radius is Y so this will be equal to pi y square dc perfect now we need to solve for y in this equation to be able to plug it in here later so when we solve for y you get that y is equal to 3c minus 12 over negative 8 which is also equal to negative 3 over 8c plus 3 halves okay so we got y we got the a what are we missing? C curly, which is the centroid of this disk right here. And we know that C curly is equal to C. I think we're here. Now with all this, we can solve our integral. So our integral is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 from 0 to 2, right here, of C curly, which we're going to replace for C, right here, times dA, which we're going to replace for this right here, which is pi y squared dc all over the integral from 0 to 2 of pi y squared dc, just replacing the values. But now we're going to replace the y square by this y, and this is where you, you, it's going to start getting messy. So you better be tidy with your numbers so you're not going to make mistakes. From 0 to 2, c is the same, pi is the same, times minus 3 over 8, c plus 3 over 2, all square, dc. And the bottom is all over 0 to 2 pi minus 3 over 8 c plus 3 over 2 square dc. We're in our space here. It's going to get even longer because now we have to solve this to be able to solve this integral easily. Now, 0 to 2, c times pi, that remains the same, parentheses. First one squared is 9 over 64 c squared. Now 2 times the first one times the second one is minus 9 over 8 c plus 9 over 4, which is the second one squared, dc. All over, same thing. 
c over 2 but we solved it up there so I'm just gonna copy it 9 over 64 c squared minus 9 over 8 c plus 9 over 4 dc perfect so let me move over here now I'm gonna integrate it and I get 9 pi c to the 4 over 256 I'm basically solving the top one now and I'm gonna solve the bottom one later minus 9 pi c cube over 24 plus 9 pi c square over 8 all over from 0 to 2 and all that is over 9 pi c cube which I'm solving the bottom integral over 192 minus 9 pi c square over 16 plus 9 pi c over 4 all from 0 to 2 let me move a little further to the left ran out of space here top is 1.767 minus 9.424 plus 14.14 all over 1.178 minus 7.069 plus 14.13 when you solve this you get that all this is equal to 0.787 and this is the final answer. So I'm explaining this problem to you and looking at my notes, I'm realizing that I could have canceled out all the pies and saved myself some, some trouble, but I didn't and this is what they gave me. And it's the same thing, it's the same result, but you should notice these things. I feel a little dumb that I didn't. Anyways, the point is 0 0.787, which is somewhere around here, I think. Final answer for C bar.